Interviewer will explain. Let's move on to the DNS module. How can you perform DNS resolution and hostname lookup using the DNS module in Node.js? Candidate in the DNS module, we can use the DNS. Resolve method to perform DNS resolution and hostname lookup. The DNS resolve method takes a hostname and a callback function as parameters. It resolves the IP addresses associated with the hostname and passes the result to the callback function. Additionally, the DNS lookup method provides a simplified interface for hostname lookup by taking a hostname and optional options as parameters and returning the IP address directly. Interviewer, great. Let's discuss the URL module. How can you pass and manipulate URLs using the URL module in Node.js? Candidate, the URL module in Node.js provides methods to pass and manipulate URLs. To pass a URL string, we can use the URL pass method which returns an object representing the different components of the URL such as protocol, hostname, hat, query parameters and more. We can also use the URL format method to construct a URL string from a URL object. Additionally, the URL resolve method allows us to resolve a relative URL against a base URL, simplifying URL manipulation in Node.js applications. Interviewer, well done. Let's shift our focus to the buffer module. How can you create and manipulate binary data using the buffer module in Node.js? Candidate, in the buffer module, we can create a buffer object to store and manipulate binary data. To create a buffer, we can use the buffer dot from method, passing the data and optionally the encoding. We can also use the buffer alloc method to allocate a new buffer with a specific size. Once a buffer is created, we can manipulate its contents using various methods like buffer, slice, buffer, to string, and buffer, tomcat. The buffer module is particularly useful for working with binary protocols and file I, O operations in Node.js. Interviewer, good explanation. Let's now discuss the cluster module. How can you communicate between worker processes in a Node.js cluster using the cluster module? Candidate, in the cluster module, we can use inter-process communication methods to facilitate communication between worker processes in a Node.js cluster. Each worker process has a worker.send method that allows sending messages to other worker processes. The messages can be JavaScript objects and can be received by attaching a listener to the message event of the cluster object. A PC enables coordination and sharing of data between worker processes in a cluster, making it easier to distribute work and collaborate in a multi-process environment. Interviewer will explain. Let's move on to the readline module. How can you read input from the command line using the readline module in Node.js? Candidate, the readline module in Node.js provides an interface for reading input from the command line. We can create an instance of the readline. Interface class using readline. Create interface, passing the standard input and output streams as parameters. Then, we can use the question method of the interface to prompt the user for input and handle the input using a callback function. The readline module simplifies the process of reading input from the command line and allows for interactive command line interfaces in Node.js applications. Interviewer, great. Let's now discuss the Zlib module. How can you compress and decompress data using the Zlib module in Node.js? Candidate, in the Zlib module, we can compress and decompress data using various compression algorithms such as gzip and deflate. To compress data, we can use the zlib.gzip or zlib. Deflate methods, which take the data as input and return compressed data as a buffer. Conversely, to decompress data, we can use the zlib, concept or zlib. Inflate methods, which take the compressed data as input and return the decompressed data as a buffer. The zlib module provides convenient methods for working with compressed data in Node.js, enabling efficient storage and transmission of data. Interviewer will explain. You have successfully answered 50 questions related to Node.js concepts and modules. Your knowledge and understanding of the subject are impressive. Do you have any questions for me? Candidate, no thank you all.